Hi everyone, the momentum based gradient optimization method is an extension of batch gradient descent method. So here which is taking uh, all the samples in the given data set for each and every iteration then it is updating the uh, I mean calculating the gradients and then updating the parameters. So uh, the, it is using the uh, batch gradient descent approach and also which is using additionally one of the parameter momentum uh, parameter uh, which is used to accelerate the converging process by uh, adding the element during the updation of uh, weight parameters. Here the momentum is considering the previous step weights uh, gradient changes that means at the time uh, for calculating the weight updation at the time period t it is using some momentum uh, factors okay momentum value at the time uh, at the time period t minus 1 so uh, it is using the changes available in the uh, previous step to update the current time step weights so this momentum factor is using uh, to make the optimizer uh, in continuing to go in the same direction that means when your gradient is available here then step by step it will move here in this direction sometimes uh, the direction might have more than uh, one uh, orientation that means more than one directions flat direction or this angle or this angle like that even though it is having multiple directions uh, during the gradient calculation uh, it will uh, try to move this gradient towards the uh, descent uh, angle so it will uh, make the uh, gradients to move in the same direction even though it is having multiple uh, gradient I mean uh, multiple directions in the search space and also so when uh, the some few of the gradients becomes zero uh, yeah, the gradient will struck at the local minimum okay so uh, this is one of the issue in stochastic gradient uh, sorry um, batch gradient descent so this will be avoided by using the momentum factor uh, in the momentum based gradient descent optimization so the, when you uh, the gradient is zero for any time step uh, the gradient will stuck at the uh, first local minimum so when you are adding the momentum factor with the algorithm it will move forward uh, big, uh, by uh, forcing that uh, gradient into the uh, global minimum that means the uh, towards the reaching uh, the uh, minimum error for the model so here which is using the momentum uh, factor uh, with the velocity at the time period t minus 1 plus here 1 minus momentum factor and calculating the gradient with respect to all the parameters then the parameter is updated old, a new parameter value equal to old parameter value minus learning rate into the uh, velocity which is calculated in the previous using the previous step here the optimizer is calculating this gradient of the cost function at each iteration and updates the uh, momentum term so this is the uh, momentum uh, term which is updating for each iteration based on exponentially weighted moving average that means exponentially weighted moving average in the sense which is using the uh, previous step algorithm previous step gradients which is using the previous step gradients that is which is giving some uh, um, uh, which is some which is giving some uh, impact for the uh, previous step gradients okay some uh, so it is helping the algorithm to escape from local minima and the saddle point so here you look at that uh, this uh, is the plot which is showing the acceleration for the uh, gradient descent batch gradient descent algorithm which is taking more acceleration so you see this is the point uh, in the in this uh, area in this angle then you look at that it is going in some other direction which is taking much more uh, I mean uh, uh, magnitude uh, to reach the next point then again it is coming down which is taking again much magnitude which is reaching the another point so it is having the more number of acceleration with high magnitude but when you are using the 
moment uh, i mean momentum based optimization by adding the momentum factor you look at that this is the point which is starting here you look at that which is taking less magnitude than the uh, 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 normal batch gradient descent algorithm and which is taking less time to reach the um, to reach the minimum error uh, i mean global minimum so which is uh, uh, giving you uh, better performance than batch gradient descent algorithm uh, by converging faster by avoiding the number of oscillations you look at that here uh, more number of oscillations available in the batch gradient descent but here less number of oscillations available in the momentum based gradient optimization thanks for watching